Mm, hello, darling. Do you like my hair? Darling, do you like my hair? It's giving me life, darling. It's giving me life, darling. Look at this, baby. Fit, fit, fabulousness. Okay, enough of that. But anyway, I was going to come today and do a little rant video about uh, this new TV show that's out, and it's called Married to Medicine, and it's on Bravo. I don't even know why I'm plugging this damn show, but I just wanted to let you all know just how stupid this show is, right? It's stupid. It, I had high hopes for it, though. When I saw the previews a couple months ago, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is going to be a great show filled with black professional women, uh, uh, and it's going to be showcasing their everyday lives and them, you know, just being a pillar to the community. I was like, it's about time. Go Bravo. Go Bravo. And when I sit down and watch this bullshit, it's just like every other ratchet-ass black woman TV show out there. It's just ratchet. And it's filled with a bunch of ratchet bitches who are married to respectable men who are, these are real respectable uh, fucking professional men. These are not athletes and rappers and shit like that where, you know, you expect the bitches to be retarded. But it's these are professional men. These are, are doctors, you know. So you're thinking, oh, wow, they, you know, these women are going to be a representation of their successful and classy husbands. But when I turn on this bullshit, I see all of these black bitches Honey, child, girl, honey, uh-huh, yeah, girl, uh-huh, you can, the one little chocolate one, her, her cute self, she's so cute, but she's so damn ghetto, the little dark one is really cute to me for some strange reason, but she's so fucking ghetto, it's just, she automatically becomes, like, ugly, you know, so I'm just like, here, another show, with a bunch of ghetto black hood boogers. We don't need any more. So I'm just like, I'm totally over it. I mean, I tried to watch it last Sunday after the Atlanta Housewives, and I just, I couldn't do it. I'm like, no more hood booger shows, no more hood booger shows. So after I turned off my Married to Medicine, I put on my porn, and I love my porn. Preferably, I love amateur porn, of ghetto porn, and when I say ghetto porn, I love ghetto porn. There are certain porn sites that are notorious for like being like ghetto and hood. Like one of my favorites back in the day was a uh, hood box. Uh, hood hoodboxoffice.com and the other one uh, chroniccentral.com and then there's a, one guy who I've been following for years his name is mrnogood.com but the name of his porn site is black vagina finders so I'll put the link to all of these websites below uh, I, I love these sites I mean I, you may when you go to these sites you're gonna look and you're gonna be like Erica no but yes I love hood porn. I've never, never been a fan of, like, professional, like, vivid, and all the girls are so made up, and they're like, ah, 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 ah. I've never been a fan of that. I like hood porn, and some of this porn on these sites are so damn hood, the girls have on, like, fucking do-rags, and they got on these fucking dirty socks, and, oh my god, some of them are crackheads. I, I don't know why, but I've I, I get off on that, you know, whatever, you know, my kink, my treasure, but anyway, I compiled a list of porn stars that I love, now these are actually professional porn stars, you know, uh, these are porn stars that I love, um, some I love for the talent, and others, uh, I just love, just, cause they're crazy. And the first one on my list is Wesley Pipes. Okay, I love Wesley Pipes because Wesley Pipes is, he's a mess. He's a total mess. He is, oh my God, he's nuts. He's nuts. His elevator doesn't go to the top floor, but there is something about him that I just find fascinating. Fascinating to watch. I'll put the link to some of his shit down below too. 
The next one is Janet Jackme. Janet Jackme is another nutso. She's another one whose elevator doesn't go all the way to the top floor. She's one of those ah, 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 type of girls, but I find her, again, fascinating. Not because she's talented, but because she's nuts. She's uh, very interesting to watch. You know, so I'll put the link to her, some of her shit down below, too. Next one is Cinnamon Love. I love Cinnamon Love. And I love, I've loved Cinnamon Love for years. Um, when I started to follow her on Twitter, I began to love her more because um, she's just a real person. You know, she talks about her kids and, you know, she's this great cook. And, you know, and I love uh, adult stars who present themselves as, you know, just even level people, you know, they don't have all these problems and all these issues. I love that about her. The next one is Lexington Steele. I like him because he seems like he's a, a, a normal type of guy uh, from around the way, you know. You know, somebody, you know, you would, you know, meet at like a, a I don't know, a gas station, give them your number, and then like, Ten hours later, y'all fucking like mad rabbits. He's just he he just kind of strikes me as that he's a whatever type of dude. And my number one favorite porn star is Pinky. I love Pinky. I love Pinky because she's got that big old ass, and it's not the big old ass with the little craters in it. You all have seen a, a a fat ass that's just fat. That's just nothing like, you know. Pinky's ass is big, but it's like sensual big, and it's like round, and it it doesn't have any craters in it. I can't explain it. Just crater ass. I don't like crater ass. Pinky doesn't have crater ass, and she's she seems like another one who's a down to earth type of girl. She seems like she's a sweet girl. You know, she she likes she's into handling her business. She travels a lot, and I like those things. I like that about her. You know, when she tweets. You know, it her tweets seem normal. If you understand why she seems like a normal chick and I really do like that about her. Um I follow a lot of like porn stars and I follow a lot of uh sex workers and strippers and things like that. I, I follow a lot of them on Twitter and a lot of them you read some of their tweets and you like Will you please take you a Xanax and drink you a Lama Rita? Because you, it's, life is not that bad. Life is not that bad. Bitch, calm the fuck down. Take your damn medication and drink you a, a glass of wine or something. Chill the fuck out. You need to get Zen. Okay? I mean, these girls would tweet just, you know, motherfuckers ain't shit and don't trust nobody and bitches are haters and da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Every tweet is a negative fucking tweet. It just like, bitch, let me pull the gun. Let me pull the trigger for you. Please let me pull the trigger for you. So, I'm just, ugh. I don't know. I think I'm over, like, social media. I'm so over Facebook. It's not even funny. I mean, it's just... Uh, I don't even know why I log into Facebook anymore. And Twitter, I... Mm, Twitter just seems kind of dumb to me. But I'm going to hold on to it because it's a way for people to get in contact with each other. And there are certain people out there that I only want to communicate through Facebook and Twitter. I don't want to talk to them on the phone and all that other stuff. So I, I guess those social media sites are good for that. But anyway, yeah. So, this is what I want y'all to do. I want you all to, in the comments, tell me what type of porn you watch. Uh, if you like professional porn, if you like ghetto porn, or if you like amateur porn, you know, which, which one, what do you like? You know, and put down who your favorite porn stars are, you know. I, I like to know who people are watching so I can give me some ideas of who else to watch, you know. So, if you have any ideas for this lusty chick, you go ahead and you let her know, hey... This is a good porn site. The people there are pretty sexy. So let us just know. Hook me up down there in the comments. And I'll see you next Friday. Peace out.